Ladies and gentle beards, welcome to this edition of Carl's Bearded Banter. Where we're going? There we are. You can see we're having a review do a review do review do do a review day today. We'll get it in the end. A review review do do right here. Do do. <laughs> Some of my reviews are do do. That's for sure. Um, bit of an intro to to Wallet before we got we get into the um, the talk. He had his has his own uh, YouTube page. What's it called, buddy? Just Wild Hair UK. Well, on YouTube, search World Hair UK, subscribe. Um, and he did start off a bit like I do, interviewing and uh, doing re- product reviews. But he stepped his game up, and so he thought, he thought, I'll put my money where my mouth is. And he's gone into production of his own companies, Wild Hair UK, um, selling beard oils. I do have one here for, for you to show. Um, obviously, I'll be doing... Uh, at a different date, I'll be doing a review of, of Ollie's oils. But today, I thought, we might as well get Ollie in and uh, have a chat about it. So, welcome, Ollie. Uh, thanks for joining Welcome. Us. Hello. No worries. We um, got there in the end, didn't we? Yeah, we got there in the end. Technical troubles again. I'm known for it. Yeah, so, um, what made you do that transition from just talking about people's products and trying their products to making your own? Seems like a big jump to, to take. Yeah, I think it's more of just like any hobby. Um, you know, there's only you can just keep pushing it and pushing it. It got to the point where, you know, you're sort of having people not rely but take what you're saying, um, you know, on a product, yeah. and then you're saying it's good or bad. And actually, I think, I think it's better to have now that we've gone into that beard care. I think we have more of a, um, it's more of a reliable source now. I'd say to say. You like it, you don't. What carrier oils are interesting? What are the better carrier oils? Whereas actually beforehand, I didn't really have a clue about anything that I was saying. I see what you mean. To be honest. Yeah. (laughs) You know, you've got to know your products. You've got to know what goes into it uh, and everything. Well, one of my my videos on YouTube was um, World Hair Makes Beard Oil. And um, there's three or four different episodes or you know videos on the youtube about that and then on one of my third because it's actually quite an interesting progression from making the oil to you know the the failures of oil and the winners as well but um i was walking around my meadow with my dog and i was filming i was actually really quite down and i actually felt bad the amount of times i'd given someone a bad review in that little space instagram gives you and actually the amount of work that goes into becoming a company yeah. is it, you it, it's so much work you know yeah. and then there's me sat you know on the loo writing all oh, this oil's not very good yeah. you know it's so uh, yeah so i get what you're saying it's there. funny so go on i was just gonna say it's funny i was going through my notes on my phone because i needed to organize it and there was um a section from uh february last year and it has world hair oils world hair scent profiles so the idea was already there yeah and it wasn't till december when we released uh december 2020 um so there's a, a good eight to ten months before actually someone buying a product that the idea was already there yeah well i suppose it, 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 everything starts with an idea don't say you don't have an idea there's nowhere no, there's not if you don't start with the seed there's nothing to grow as they say yeah um, but money is a main factor i'd say money I, is I a big thing. On this, uh, where, you know, maybe commenting on putting people down or scoring it because I don't get involved. With that. I don't score or not. I don't do scores. Never done scores. Oh, put them down because particularly it's it's all it is is my own opinion. I mean, unless I've got one and it's got you know sulfuric acid in it or something that's going to burn your skin yeah. off, and obviously I'll, I'll say, oh, I'll avoid it. But otherwise, it's more of a personal preference, and it's like on the scent blends as well. There's certain things I don't like. And I've said it loads of times, for instance, coffee. You know, how many millions and millions of people around the world love coffee? I did mm. it up years ago, and I don't drink it, so I've kind of gone off the smell. So if you produced a coffee one and I was to rate it, I'd say, oh, I, you know, I wouldn't rate it well because I don't like it. Even if yeah. it does smell of coffee, it's exactly what you want. But for me, I'd say, no, I'm, I'm giving this a low score or I don't like it. Yeah, we've never done scores. Never. No, it's not right. fair. You leave it. I'd like to introduce the people, you know, tell them what you offer. And then let other people make up their minds, where, where, you know, to try it or whether like. Yeah. It. For me, it's more about getting the other companies, like you say, these guys who put all the effort, like yourself, all the effort into producing some sort of 
oil or products, whatever it may be. Any other product out there, get in touch, I'll review that. No, do you know what I mean? You've done all the, all the work. So this is about me, mate, yeah. You, <laughs> well, I, I know what you mean about the coffee. There's uh, so Corkhead on the Isle of Wight. Um, uh, probably 40%, I'm probably wrong now, of his products have um, chocolate. And I really, my beard does not get on well with chocolate. Yeah. That residue you get on your fingers when you've yeah. touched like a, a warm chocolate bar, I get that on my beard and it doesn't go away. And it's, it gets to the point where I have, I have to wash my beard. Yeah. Um, and But he sent me a load of stuff. I didn't review any of the chocolate stuff. I didn't say it was bad. Yeah. But if you said to me, Ollie, do you know anyone who does chocolate um, scent? Straight away, I'll say, yeah, you know, Corkhead. Yeah. So you try and work it in the brand's favour. Yeah. Um, I did have a video I was meant to do a couple of months ago, and they had so much um, bad press as such on the review review side i just messaged them and i just said it wouldn't be fair for me to put this out you know i don't need brownie points for a bad review i just i just yeah, you know didn't didn't put it I've, out I've, I've, I've been sent some stuff and got in touch with a guy and says look i'm not going to review it Surely yeah I really don't like it i don't like its feel or the scent i'm not going to say whose it was but it's just i just just leave it at that do you know what i mean i don't think i need to put it out there but i would say we are lucky in the UK because definitely in this circle community on Instagram or Facebook is there is a lot of good companies and there's very little bad companies. And we're very lucky, I'd say, that, you know, yeah. like if, if you saw me review something, I think you would know now that's got to be a good, reliable company. Um, and the same for me with you, you know, and I think that's the way this community has worked on Instagram or Facebook is, you know, it's like, there's more good companies than bad. So we're quite lucky, really. Um, I think on that point say. as well, or there's the, the, uh, here in the UK as well, we, we, we do have the um, Cosmetic Product Safety Report, CP CPSR, yes, a proud CPSR. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. out there that have not got that, so there's a kind of wow. you know, there's a, a safety barrier. To, to, we should have I know who you are. <laughs> It's, it's, I find it's easy to tell. You can tell by the, the way the labels are made. There's certain information that's got to be put on the label. To well, to... even some guys who have said they got their reports, and I would trust them that they have their reports. Their labels aren't still legal. You know, you have to have the address of where the product is made on a label. You need yeah. the volume on a label. Don't tell them. There's... Don't tell them all. Don't give them all the secrets away, mate, because you'll have all the. Well, if anyone needs any help message me and i'm quite happy to say what legally should be you know the guys at audacious beard uh, beard monsters they all helped me with my labels you know lakeland beard cares another one you know all these guys helped me if there's new guys out there message me and i'll happily say you know this is what needs to be on because that's the way this community grows and that's important what i don't like is the guys who don't get their reports yeah. and you know they I, I you know I, 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 people know my thoughts on uh, yeah, these um, beard rats, as I used to call them, and I'm not going to waste my time talking about them. But enough said, enough said, buddy. So anyway, let's, let's, let's keep, keep it positive. Back to wild hair. So you got your, your sport and a nice t-shirt there as well. So nine pound at the moment on the website. A lovely wild hair. The website there right there. <laughs> wild hair. Not wildhair.co.uk that's advertisement for you when they <coughs> wildhairuk.co.uk but it does work with .com we've got three different domains but this you know okay. is the one I, I'm trying to get out there but it's all about the summer mate when I've sold about 30 of these so far it's all about the summer when people are in the beer, gar beer, beer gardens and all you can see is my website across the back yeah, that's the one isn't it Everyone that's what it's about <laughs> yeah so where did you come up with the name then the name and let's talk about the name first and then the actual image of the logo itself where did all that come from? So wild hair was just, um, I was just working in the kitchen and I was trying to think of something because wild hair sort of happened before the reviews happened. It was about three or four months before and I tried to make a balm um, and it went completely wrong. And then I decided to do, to do reviews. But I think it's just a, it's just a play on words. Um, wild hair, obviously, hair being a rabbit, being wild hair. You know, we've got our hair paste coming out in about four weeks' time. So we won't be just a beard brand. We'll be a hair brand. Okay. Hopefully, at one point, a male grooming brand. Right. Um, so that's the plan, World Hair. I think it's catchy. 
Uh, the logo might change in the future, but it's just, you know, tame that hair is again a play on the word yeah. tame that hair because it's wild. Okay. And, you know, if you don't get it, don't buy my product. <laughs> 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 Quite simple. Yeah. I mean, for the hair products, mate, it's not much help for me on that. Well, but, uh, well there's a couple of guys who shaved their head and he messaged me and he said, I'm really interested in getting the hair paste. There's only five ingredients in the hair paste. And I said, mate, you haven't got any hair. And he said, no, it's for my son. So, okay. you know, that's that's quite nice that there's that market there. Um, I, you, so that's quite cool. You kind of you, you did jump the gun a bit there with me because I was going to bring that in a bit later on about uh, other products and what you're yeah. doing now. But what about um, balms? Can you see any of them coming out in the future? I've got a balm. I've got a balm um, on the shelf and the recipe's there. It's all ready to go. A couple of guys have tried the balm and they've said it's very buttery. Okay. Um, I was going to call it a spread, so I thought that was quite funny. Yeah. But I don't think some people would get that. So I'm just going to call it a balm. It holds well. It has the same nourishment as you'll get in a butter. Um, but going back to CPSRs, you know, to get the base done, that's around £120. And then you then got to have the six variants of that which is 25 ago yeah. suddenly you're talking 220 quid just for the reports yeah. well, got and i haven't even brought any beeswax for it yet you know so it's on the back burner we've got the new scent peter coming out in a couple of weeks and we have the hair paste and also a uh, beard illusion collab with world hair so there's plenty going on yeah, um yeah, you... but i need about three three four hundred pounds you know, the design, you wanted to talk about design, or well, the design for the hair paste, that's taken my guy, um, Craft Monkey, it's taken him 13 hours so far to design that. Wow. You know, so that's over £100 just for that design. So it all adds up. And did he do these ones for you? The... That sounds where, yeah, Mount, Mount Dosa um, and Craft Monkey. I'm doing a YouTube video with him later to go on our channel because okay. um, I just want to support his brand. But, yeah, he draws the hairs. I give him the inspiration, he cracks on, and then he just gives me like six different things and I pick what I like, you know. Yeah. He's very talented, um, lovely guy. Funny enough, when about five years ago, maybe six years ago, he was a kitchen porter for me in my restaurant that I was head chef for. And um, we've just kept you know, in touch. Yeah. And yeah, as soon as I knew I needed designing done, you know, help the you know not help the guy out, but give him the work. You know, because he's he's a great guy. Well, work is some great. I'll bring up some of his artwork in a minute. So, you know, some of the, the, the different hairs as, as we as we can say. Yeah, the drove they're called. A group of hair. A group of hairs is a drove. A drove. Oh, That's okay. the wild wild hair drove. So a little bit of a lesson for the banter banter towers there. There you go. Always learning. Um, yeah. So do you, do you have a, a regular job as well, or is this full time for you? I haven't worked for four months. Um, I've been a chef for 17 years um, trying to get out of it now you know I've got the, the baby I've I don't feel the same way towards the catering industry as I did when I was like 25 26 uh, when I absolutely loved it you know 70 80 hours a week you wouldn't mind yeah you know I've changed so hopefully you know it's going to take a couple of years but hopefully I, I this could be my way out of the trade. Um, I hope so. Let's hope it, it takes off. You know. So um, we, I'm not like I say I'm not going to do a a scent smell or anything because I'll save that for my individual um, reviews as I go along. Like, yeah. Talking about them that way. But what we can do, we can talk about the the the, the drove as we, as we said that we've got. The drove. Let's bring the first one in. Who've we got here? This is Rose. So who? Rose. What's, what's the scent blend on this one? Well, there's a. There's a theme to all the hairs, and it's not something that I like to sort of say, but they're all inspired by a group of individuals. Okay. Now, I'll let people guess that themselves, but you've got Rose, you've got Harold, you've got Brady. Only a few people know who these people are, but do you, can you guess who, who this lovely lady is? No, I've never even thought about it, to tell you the truth. I didn't really make it. Well, I, I, there's a there's a thing going on, and thing. I don't want to over. I, yeah, I don't really want to over publicise it because people might think that I'm quite a, a sick individual. But 
But there's a theme going on. Yeah, um, but I, Rose, well, I was thinking the kind of uh, on the murder of the scene. Is that where we're going now on that one? Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Another exclusive for Banter Towers. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so best behaviour from now on. Now I know that. So what? So yeah. What, so what's, what's the same blend, blend for Rose? So, so Rose was so Rose. So when we look at the actual hairs, it's just an idea that I give Sam. You know. This in, you know, I want it to look like this individual, but it has no connection with the scent profile or anything no, else. Yeah, okay. um, but Rose scent profile is basically um, inspired on. I drink a lot of tea, and a Lady Grey is orange bergamot, and then I've got some patchouli in there. Um, so her scent profile is like a Lady Grey. So she's probably the the more the subtlest scent. Yeah. Apart from the unscented, of course. Um, but she's, yeah, I, I like all my scent profiles, which I think is important as a yeah. as a brand. And, but I'd, yeah, I'd say, um, you know who she is now, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. So uh, let's get, let's bring the next one in. We've got Harold. Who's he then? Is he a doctor by any chance? How many, how many old ladies did he kill? Yeah. <laughs> Good. So um, Apple aftershave and lime so the lime wasn't originally there in the first trial um it's almost used as a seasoning as funny as it sounds it's a bit of citrus note but yeah it's um a lot of people would say that that's their favorite scent funny enough um, i remember when you was in the, the testing uh, testing phase i do believe you sent me one that one of the test pots of this yeah you've got harold rose and joanna i think it was right. and brady was brady no one got um I, again, it's an interesting scent. You know, if you like your aftershaves, um, that's why it's aftershave. You know, it's it, yeah. it's actually a leather background scent. Yeah. But as soon as I smelt it as a combination, it just smelt like an aftershave. So being a bit unique, stick aftershave on the label, you know. Yeah, I do like the, some of these. I mean, I like my sweet shop scents and all that sort of stuff. But I also like the uh, the grown up ones. Like you know, you, sometimes you the want colognes. To, well, I mean. Not in current climate and current times, but you know, if you're going out on the town, you want something which can smell like a bit like you're going out on the town. Or maybe this. Yeah. Can, uh, we won't know until I do my review. Will we? Well, you won't know until you're allowed to go out on the town yeah, for a yeah, start. You know, I can still, yeah. I can still find out what the scent's like anyway. Um. So wait, 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 that's one. We got two more. This so, is Joanna. So Joanna, Joanna so was. If you could, you know, I, don't, I don't know where. Crazy You'll have to do some there. research then on her, but she is an absolute psychopath. <laughs> I used to be a prison officer, so I can do without all these kind of remarks. Oh, nice. Wow. Well, where, where were you? Where was it? I've worked in a couple of places. You know, we don't need to go there. We're not here interviewing me. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, no, that's on my that's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so so Joanna's uh, like our uh, flagship, basically. Um, she's leather, amber and raspberry and oh my god don't know my own scent profiles oh, and point. orange and orange another orange yeah and um people like joanna some people absolutely love joanna i would say for me she smells a bit like a jaeger bomb or a red bull oh, okay. um but not as sickly okay. but she seems she's she's probably the flagship she was the first hair and i think when you know who she is the actual detail on Sam's work is very impressive, really. Okay. Um, um, so, so if she was you, your first one and you were just start, starting out, so she was the one that you wanted to give you hope. Joanna. Hope. Did you get it? Hope, hope Joanna. Joanna. Hope I don't get that, no. Song or something, something like that, it? I only listen to heavy metal, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bob who? <laughs> and then Brady. I know, yeah, you've probably just lost... I've got a few people after you now there, mate. Never mind them. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Loads of people um, unsubscribe and unfollow me all the time, so it's fine. Brady. Brady is a cool scent, and what's quite nice is a background of pomegranate and Brady. Uh, again, a lot of people are saying Brady is their favourite. Um, spearmint in there. But you see, the thing about spearmint is if you have too much, it smells like a toothpaste. Yeah. So... It's very faint, the spearmint yeah, in that. Right. Um, it's a nice, cool, cool scent. Brady, if you know who Brady is, you know, there's, there's flavour text on my website 
and it's a little sort of a bit of a story about the character I've seen it. which I'm, links yeah i think i'll um I'll, when i'm doing my reviews i'll i'll go onto your site and i'll read them out for people to yeah so you think cold wintry nights on the moors brady <laughs> i wonder what that well that connection's all about <laughs> I've actually got brain. I tell you what, people like to collect things, okay? Uh, this is the reason why. When you look at some of the, the brands that are successful globally, most of them seem to have things you can collect. And I can see that you are a bit of a geek. I am a bit of a, a nerd. You, uh, you like your nerdy, geeky stuff, and you like to collect things. Yeah. And the one thing about these hairs is people like to collect them. So, again, yes, it's a bit of a marketing thing. Um, but I think it's uh, I think it's cool. Well, anyway, that's what it's all about, isn't it? I, I like the idea of them, but yeah, they have got this kind of psychotic look to them as well, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? They're not kind of a fluffy bunny sort of look, are they? No, but I did have one guy say that by Christmas he wants these in cuddly toys for the children. They did make good little, t- like my, yeah. mine over there, little uh, teddy I'd, things or whatever. I'll take them down to that Builder Bear shop and say, make me one of these. Uh, yeah. So uh, the next, so that's, that's them, and then you've got the unscented, which is... Um, just the base, just a pure base. Um, and then people have been buying them as well, which is quite nice. One reason for doing an unscented was that um, when my daughter was born, they say you shouldn't have any strong scent profiles on you because the baby needs to smell your natural smell. Okay. Um, so I just thought, you know, let's just stick an unscented out there. Well, there are some people who, who kind of have allergies and they're allergic to these different scent, uh, the different fragrance oils and, and things like that. And they, all I use is um, unscented ones. So yeah, because people... I've had a, I had a couple of uh, girls from the wild hair buyers, and they said that they've used the unscented in their hair, and they said it's really good. It makes their hair feel nice and healthy and shiny. So there's another bit of marketing down there. The, just change the label. If I if I remember correctly, it's not got it's not named. It's kind of just this logo. In it's the just the original blend. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, listen, mate. This I want to keep it short and sleek. Unless you've got anything else you want to add for. To, uh, I can talk forever, mate. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to thank you for joining me. It was a night. It was interesting. Uh, you know, there was a few kind of surprises for me in that conversation. So that's good. So what I would like to do, mate, is send you one of my cow's bearded banter. You've been a gold star. So I'll send you one of my stickers, please. If you get me your address, that's fine, there. mate. So that's fine. Yeah. I don't and know, I like on my page, I'll, I'll give stickers out of left, right, and centre, but these ones only go out to the people that I've done re- reviews with. So these are kind mate, of rare. I'll stick it right over my logo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, as the case may be. Ollie, thank you for joining us, mate. Uh, maybe we can, you know, you, you bring something else about. You can come and tell us about it. Uh, you know, and I wish you all the best. And I hope it just, you know, takes a snowball. Thanks very much. Goes on and on and on. So, like, it is it's slowly there. getting there. Check him out. Uh, Wild hair. Let me see if I can get it right. Wild hair. UK. Dot co. Dot UK. Dot UK. And on your YouTube page, which is Wild Hair UK. Wild Hair UK. Wild Hair UK. That's all they need to remember. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> see you all again, mate. Cheers. Toodles, everyone. See ya. <laughs>